What's going on you guys, man? I hope you guys are all doing well, man. Excuse my lighting, I am facing directly towards the sun. So yeah, man, nevertheless, this video I'll be giving you guys my 2024 trading plan. So as of right now, currently, I am focusing, for the whole week, I am focusing on growing a $100 account into a $1,000 account in five days currently. So, um, when I trade this account, I can't trade this account the way I would trade a prop firm challenge, the way I would trade a funded account, or the way I would trade my bigger live accounts, or any live account that's like bigger that I can do proper risk management with. On this small account, I have to deal with greed. I have to over leverage, obviously, because it's a very small account. I'm trying to grow it to $1,000 within five days. So I'm going to be doing some type of over leveraging, especially as of right now, because on Monday, I took a nice win, and Tuesday, which is yesterday, I took a loss that wiped out all the wins that I had. Yeah, right now, I have to over leverage the account regardless so yeah coming into 2024 this is the trading plan that i actually have before myself and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up like subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below i really appreciate it mind you guys this is for me this is how i trade this is not how i'm telling y'all to trade this is what works for me through trial and error i come to realize what works for me so i have to do what works for me i'm sorry you guys hear the background because there's a truck that's cleaning the road all right so number one thing i am a intraday scalper meaning i will trade from 9 30 i can't enter no trade until after 9 30 Originally, if I have a regular size account, prop firm challenge, or a funded account, 9.30 to 12 o'clock. That window, I am to enter a trade. I can be able to hold my trades, but after like 5 o'clock, I don't want to be in the market at all because th there's a big-ass gap that happens. The spread gets extremely big. I do not want to be in the market at all. Um, so, yeah, I am an intraday scalper, uh, meaning I, I enter my trades on a 5 or a 15-minute, depending on what I see. And every now and then, I will, enter, I will wait for a 5-minute candle break. Um, and if I don't see it, the five minute candle break is too big on the five minute, I will enter off a three minute or every now and then a one minute candle break. That way I'll get my entry. That way it gives me a confluence that price is getting ready to go my way. The second thing I want to tell you guys is that the pairs that I trade, the pairs that I trade is NAS 100, US 30, gold, and AUD USD. These are the main pairs that I trade every now and then. That means every blue moon, I will trade U.S. oil. But for the most part, I don't trade U.S. oil. That's every blue moon. That's usually like on a flip account or on a prop firm challenge, I will actually trade U.S. oil. Those are the pairs that I do trade. On the weekend, I use the back test. Weekends, I usually use for back testing. So even though I trade up Monday through Friday on the weekend, on Saturday, and usually Sundays, I will go back and only my window that I want to trade in from 9.30 to 12 o'clock, um, I put on my sessions base indicators. Within that time frame, all I'm to do is to find one entry. I will look at NAS 100, I will look at US 30, I will look at gold, and I will look at AU. And by looking at all those pairs, I am to see if I'm able to see one setup uh, within all those pairs. And some days, there's just no setups. And it is what it is. Um, I don't focus on pip counts. I focus on my risk to reward. Fuck a pip and fuck a tick. I focus on risk to reward. I don't focus on getting 20 pips. I don't focus on getting 50 pips. I don't focus on risking 50 pips. I don't focus on risking 20 pips. I focus on risk to reward. I go by the balance and I risk a percentage of my balance. And based on that, that's what my TP is and that's what my risk reward is. That's what my stop loss is. Um, the hours I trade, obviously I just told you that, EST 9.30 to 12 o'clock, those are the time frame that I actually catch my entries on. My trade entry confluences, it depends on a certain amount of factors. So on the higher time frame, I do trade support and resistance on the higher time frame. That's four hour, that's three hour, uh, every now and then two hour, weekly time frame, not much of weekly. I don't really fuck with weekly that much, but daily, four hour, three hour, every now and then two hour. That is considered um, higher time frame. I would look for support and resistance on those zones. And at those support resistance zones, I would look for a supply or a demand. So let me give you guys an example. If, if price is at a resistance and price is coming off resistance, I want a pullback back into that resistance. And if there's a supply order block, I will wait for a break of candle entry on the five minute or even a three minute time frame. Or, Every now and then, the one minute time frame, and if I get that break of candle the, for price to go my way off that supply, um, also off that resistance, I will take my sell and my stop loss will be at the top of that resistance or the top of that supply zone. And my take profit will be a break of structure, meaning the previous low I'm trying to target in the, in the sell and the previous high is what I'm trying to target in the buy. Those are my TP zones when I buy and those are my TP zones when I sell. My stop loss at the top of my supply or at the bottom of my demand when I buy. Also, if prices already start breaking structure, 
I am to not enter a trade until after price broke structure. Meaning if price created a lower low, I want price to pull back up and I will get my supply for price to come down. It has to give me a breaker structure. It has to give me a breaker structure. That's the only time I will enter a trade is if price have gave me a break of structure. Another thing is, is if there's on a supply or demand, there's a imbalance. Some people call it gaps. Some people call it fair value gaps. If the if an imbalance is connected to a supply or a demand after break a candle, to me, well before break a candle, those are my highest probability trade setups, the ones I have the most confluence in. There are some things I am to not do when it comes to my trading plan. There's a list of things that I am to not do at all. I don't give a Fuck, I try my best that I can to stick to these things that I am to not do. And then one thing is to trade outside my trading plan. So like I just said, that's a long ago, I'm doing a challenge from $100 to $1,000 within five days. So I can break these rules, but if I have my big account, my prop firm challenge, or a fund account, I am to not go outside of these rules. I don't give a fuck. Trading outside of my trading hours, which means I am to not trade before 9.30 or after 12 o'clock. I am to not enter the trade. If those moments come before 9.30 to not enter the trade, after 12 o'clock, done, I'm coming back into the market the next day. It's over with. Another thing is, is to trade when there is no trading setups. I am to not force myself to take a liquidity grab setup. I am to not force myself to take a trade that's coming off of support and resistance. Only, I am to not to take a trade that is off of Fibonacci. I am to not do that. I have to only trade the things that I have in my trading plan, no matter what. I am to not trade uh, off of, just simply off of imbalance. I am to not take those type of trades at all. Another thing I am to not do is to get overconfident. I know sometimes we do get in our little winning mode and then eventually feel as if we can't lose a trade. I am to not become overconfident. I have to stick to my trading plan and my risk reward no matter what. I try to focus on one a max two trades a day. Only when I'm trading my prop firm challenge, once again, fund account or my bigger live accounts or a, a good size live accounts, I am to only trade one or two times max. Another thing I am to not do is to revenge trade. If I take a loss, I'm done. However, if I take a buy or sell and price come back and it stomp me out at break even, I have to take my time to look for a decent setup. I am to not force a trade setup because I know at times I've done that in the past. I would take a loss and I'll try to force myself to get back in that same trade and in reality that trade just was not meant to be a winning trade for that day. Uh, but mainly I try to look for a different pair to trade. Especially if I got my entry initially off a nice trade setup with nice confluence and everything off of supply or off of demand and it just comes back to my break even. Try to look for something else to trade. That shit's over with or just Wait later if until price give me a whole different trade setup. Another thing I'm to not do is to allow a winning trade to become a losing trade. You guys may be asking, what do you mean by that? So if I'm risking a hundred dollars on a trade and I'm up fifty dollars, uh, ain't no fucking way in hell that trade has to be a negative trade. I should not have lost fifty dollars or more on that trade at all. If I'm up half of what my take profit is my trade should go at least break even that is the worst case scenario and if it goes break even and stomp me out look for another trade opportunity or just come back the next day that's a break even trade day that is a winning trade day a break even trade day and a discipline trade day is a winning trade day that's a win so this is pretty much for the most part my main thing that i do focus on when it comes to trading another thing i don't do i had to stop doing this because i used to do it in the past is interact with others i will share my trade setup and based off my analysis someone else may be like yo man i don't think price gonna do this i don't think price will do that bro I don't want to go through that. So if I enter my trade, it is what it is. I am to not do anything outside of that. I am to enter my trade, accept my risk, accept my profit. And once price goes into profit, bro, the worst case scenario, it becomes a risk-free trade and I don't lose anything. I should never, once again, allow a winning trade to become a losing trade. And I should never, like if I'm in negative drawdown, right? And I enter a trade, if price come back into positive, I'm to not enter another position. One position, that is it. So yeah, man, that's all my 2024, as of right now, my 2024 trading plan. I am to stick to my fucking trading plan. Yeah, so all that being said, if you guys have any type of video requests you guys want me to do based on my honest opinion or my experience, 
please feel free to ask me. Put it in the bottom of the description. The trading platform I have been trading on is Hanko Trade by Hanko X. So if you guys are interested in joining them, the link is in the bottom of my description. Also, my trading community is 100% free. That's a place where I do share all my trades. It's inside of my Discord community. So if you guys are interested in my Discord community, the link is in the bottom of my description. That'll be it for this video. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys can please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I really appreciate it and will for sure help out YouTube algorithm. That being said, that'll be it for this video. Until next time, you guys already know what it is. Someone's coming. Deuces.